I would think you guys offensively got that going in the first half, and just seems like that third quarter that came out is a big run. We just didn't come out of halftime with the that same pace that we were playing with, and that made a difference. Uh, they started getting some easy layups to start that third quarter, and that was the separation right there. Uh, I mean, at this point, I know you guys have uh, talked about not getting you specifically to those who can't be mentally fragile. Uh, I'm curious, where's the concern level at this point? Eight straight points. You're in the play in now, first place to lead the game. Where's the concern? Uh, first things first is getting healthy and then setting our uh, setting our team up for the rest of the season post this trade deadline. Uh, I think James can speak better to that than I can. I mean, we've to the swing of things, um, how all those uh, kind of media plants start going around with rumors and stuff like that. I really do not concern myself with that. So, um, you know, the few conversations that we've had, uh, he's been really committed. And, um, you know, we just hold him to his word. Uh, but obviously when we're going out to play games, we, we can't even really think about it. So, um, you know, we would love to have him in the lineup, um, but we want him at his optimal healthy Uh, and, and then, you know, we let the rest take care of it. But, you know, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Uh, I mean, we're really good in spurts, and then we're really bad. Um, you know, but other than that, I, I don't even want to call it good and bad. You know, you could, I'll change that. But I think there have been moments where offensively and offensively, and then, uh, you know, there have been a few times where we've had uh, mental lapses, you know, giving up easy, easy, easy baskets to teams that have players that have been doing it for a while in this league. And, you know, when you're not necessarily coming out um, and, and focusing strictly on the game plan and, and, and what the tendencies are for your men, it's easy to point fingers. But for us, we, we just have to be in our shell in the team defense. And uh, once we get up, into our men a little bit more and, and start, uh, you know, making these guys miss. I feel like that'll change as well. So uh, it took me a while to be in this league to understand body movement, body placement, plays, uh, runs, um, you know, adjustments on the fly. It's, it took me a while. So I could only imagine what it's like for other young guys that are coming to the league and, and they're on a high profile team such as the Nets. So you add that in, you know, teams are coming at us. So they, there is no room for, um, you know, kind of that, let me hold your hand for a minute. It's, it, we're, we're out there together fighting. And um, I really like our effort, but I just think, again, um, you know, we just have moments where we're focused and other moments where we have those mental lapses. <clears throat> Uh, the same cam that we've been seeing since he was 17 years old, <laughs> 16 years old. If you, if you watched any film on him, uh, he's a you know born scorer, uh, and and we want him to do uh, the little things that will make him even greater. Uh, you know, the, the point of of being a shooting guard is you shoot and then you guard. And I think you know when when you're able to play at that con high condition state and do it, you know he's proven it. But now when he's getting those opportunities, we're seeing it on display. So. Um, I'm, I'm going to continue to um, be in his ear and, and just tell him that both ends of the floor matter. And, um, you know, he just, he's just a good listener. So when you see him progressing, you're, I'm not surprised. <clears throat> I can't do the hypotheticals. We'll see. <laughs> you know, I can't do the hypotheticals. Uh, you know, we just got to keep our heads on straight right now and, and understand that, um, you know, from the perspective where everybody is sitting down and watching us, it's easy to judge us. 
you know, it's easy to say, well, this could happen, that could happen. Um, you know, and look at our organization, look at the team up and down, and then, you know, make your critic, your, uh, <clears throat> your criticism, which is respectful. Um, but for us in this locker room, we're, we're just rocking with who we have healthy um, day to day. And when we're practicing, just trying to get a good feel of, of who's out there in tendencies, you know. So guys haven't really played a long time with me. You know, I'm, I'm a centerpiece, uh, one of the centerpieces. And um, I take it uh, very personal when I go home and we don't win. And I felt like, okay, I could have hit a few more shots or I could have done a few more things here. But ultimately, um, you know, we, we're trying to figure it out based on the experience that we have on this road trip or when I'm playing. So, um, you know, so there's some frustration that's lying in there, but uh, we just made some – some jumps and, and some and we've taken some step backs and that's part of being the NBA, you know, growing, learning. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> who knows? I know it's not a you know laughing subject to be talking about, but who knows what could happen? Who do you think I am? Oh, I'm glad you said that. Okay, yeah, no, I've been I've been talking to the city day day after day. No, I'm joking. Uh, no, I, I think um, I'm I'm erring on the side of, or I don't even say error. I'm, I'm keeping a positive mindset that anything can happen these next few days or the next week, and um, you know, just crossing my fingers that uh, something can come up either before all star break or um, even just after. You know, so I'm, I'm I'm definitely keeping a positive attitude in that sense. Thanks. Nice.